Hello guys, Luke from the Free Amazon. As I said, these news videos are going to come out more regular. And it's not just when news is on the official website, it's when I'm inspired. Now, there was something that was tweeted by David Gold in response to another guy's tweet. This guy tweeted about Oxford and Berg, something along those lines. I'm not quite sure what the comment was. Um, but it was, it was along the lines of play our youth team um, and give some of the young guys a chance in the team. Um, listen... We've been known as the Academy of Football, the self-proclaimed Academy of Football for a few years now. Uh, we go back, you know, some golden generations of football, of Bobby Moore, Jeff Hurst, etc., etc., Rio, Frank, Joe, Glenn Johnson, Tony Cotty, Steve Potts. You know, we can go on and on and on for the list of the golden generation. Um, and it's something, again, if... We're talking taglines. That that is a West Ham way thing. If it, I remember Sir Alex Ferguson saying, "What is the West Ham way?" The youth team and players coming through the youth is definitely one of those things. Um, so anyway, David Gold replied to this tweet, and I, I've written down sort of everything because I want, I don't want to sort of put any words into his mouth. I want to use the exact words. So David Gold replying to this tweet from a guy. He said, "I think." We all have to expect that it is extremely unlikely that a teenager will break into the Premier League team to a Premier League team of full seasoned internationals. Okay, so for me, okay, for me that has more or less killed all of our youth players' sort of drive and ambition. Maybe some of them are real strong characters and will feel like, no, I'm going to prove him wrong, but. For me, that's a really, as chairman of the club, joint chairman of the club, to come up with a comment like that towards our youth team, it, it's not great. It really isn't great at all. Um, you think of some of the guys that have made it in the other teams, you know, your you Marcus Rashford's, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking, I know they brought him in, but like Deli Ali was 19 at the time. They've played him. Uh, Everton have had some great youth players come through this year. Tom Davis is a uh, an example, and I don't know that it's it's not a a good comment at all. I, I really don't think, especially when those guys have just won the under twenty three uh, Premier League playoff to get themselves into the Premier League version of it. What does that say to these guys? You know, you've worked really hard, but you've not got a chance. You're not going to get in the team. Um, and if we're looking at just West Ham exclusively, seasoned internationals. <laughs> Let's have a look through, okay? Um, you've got Winston Reid is a New Zealand international. James Collins is an international. Fonte is an international. Cresswell's not. Cresswell's played one game. Um, I'm not sure if Masawaku's played. I would have to check that. Sam Byram has not played for England. Noble's not played for England. Sheck Kiati plays for Senegal. Obiang's a good player, but he hasn't played international level yet. You've got Sacco, Senegal International, Carroll's an international, Cagliari, God knows. Um, I use an international. Okay. I wouldn't say them they're like leading international superstars. And then also we've got your players we bought in, your Fagulis, um he's an international, Tours an international, or was an international. Um, Nordvets and international, but again, you, you wouldn't say they're star of their international team. Uh, listen, I'm not taking anything away from you guys like Reed, Kiati, etc., because they've been fantastic. But I'm aiming it at those guys like Tor, Fagule, Nordvet in the beginning of his career, and even Fonte when he first came over. Um, are we saying they can't do any better than Tor and Fagule? And when we were screaming for a striker. Ashley Fletcher couldn't have been used a bit more. Or he went out on loan, but Tony Martinez couldn't have been used when we was desperate for a striker. And when there's been some centre-back issues before Oxford went to Reading, couldn't he be used? I, I think that the argument here is, could they do any worse than what those guys did? Like, Gokantor was awful. Fagouli has not set the world alight at all. And... 
Lee put a tweet out. Tell me what you think, guys. For me, the West Ham fans would give the youth players more time as well. It's fair to say, yes, we, we've judged uh, Tor, we've judged Faguli on little fits and spurts. And, and maybe as fans, we do judge the players quickly. Uh, Tor, <laughs> yeah, well, and Cagliari, well. But yeah, when, when a youth player makes a mistake, you, you get behind them. You, you don't jump on them as much because you know they're young. You you expect mistakes. And I think when you, when you get the mistakes from these seasoned internationals, as David Gold puts it, that's when you think... Mm, they've gone and bought dodgy buyers there, or they're not great. Anyway, he carried on. Uh, David Gold, you know, obviously you got a barrage of um, abuse back because of that comment. Because the West Ham fans, myself personally, I'm so passionate about the youth team and seeing our own make it. So he responded, playing teenagers doesn't guarantee success. Hull came fifth in terms of uh, minutes for teenagers. And were relegated, and Chelsea came last and won the league. And again, this was referring to a league table that was released, which um, was the most minutes for players in the Premier League. Okay, so he's he's picked out the extremes there. So Hull came fifth and they finished last. Chelsea zero, and won the league. But let's look at the top three. The top three were Everton, Manchester United, and City. All top seven, top seven, top eight clubs. They've mixed it in well. Yeah, let's be fair, Man City's teenager is an absolute sensation in uh, Jesus. Um, United have obviously got Rashford, but he, he has, uh, Jose has played a couple of others this year, teenagers. And Everton, like I mentioned earlier in the video, always been fantastic at bringing their youth team through, uh, teenage players through. Uh, West Ham, obviously, zero this year. Um, also a tweet obviously the barrage carried on but we should be giving these players chance Cullens Burks Oxfords etc um, he said Sam played the teams this is David Gold again and they lost 5-0 to Nottingham Forest now I'm sure you all remember that game guys that was an awful awful game um, I did some research again because I had to remind myself of some of the players um, again Looking at it, we had Whitehead, Potts, Leggett, Morrison, Moncur, Fanimo, Burke, and Turgot in the team. Okay, so we started with five youth team players there again, and they were supported by Adrian, Jarvis, Diara, Maiga, and Downing. So at the time, they they're not being supported by what you would consider the best at the club at that time. Jarvis was shocking. Downing was maybe okay in that season. Diara was in and out, no good, and Maiga. So you can't sit here and say, oh, they lost 5-0. Yes, they did lose 5-0, and the history books will always say they lost 5-0. But Nottingham Forest were a good, strong championship team, and we're not arguing that they shouldn't be all starting. But the way you breed youth is giving them 10, 15 minutes, building up to 20 minutes and a half hours. Not, there you go, lads. You've never all played together before. You've never played with Adrian and go. You've never played with Jarvis at the time. Go and try and win a game. It doesn't work like that. And they can't use that as an excuse. That's a vile excuse. And Sam did that to make a point to hang the kids out to dry that year. Um... I've made some notes here. Whitehead, um, he hasn't really progressed, not really gone anywhere. Obviously, Dan Potts, when he first came through at left back, he looked okay. Uh, obviously, son of a legend in Stevie. Um, he's at Luton, and he's done okay. You know, but he had that bad injury at the Arsenal game. I was actually there. We, um, I think he hurt his neck, I think, if I can remember. And he never really got a chance back in the team then. Um, Leggett, obviously, at LA Galaxy. Morrison, we all know about Rav, you know, fantastic footballer, really flawed off the pitch. So he's at Lazio and he came back on loan to QPR. Uh, and then Georgie Monker, also son of a legend. He's at Barnsley, but he was loaned out to Peterborough. Um, Fanimo is at Margate. Obviously, Burke, he's coming on. He's, he's doing well. And Turga is a 
Bromley, but he's got some, obviously, again, massive off-the-field issues. So, what? I, tell me what you think, guys, but how damaging was that game for them, that 5-0 loss for their confidence, those players? Like I say, there's only one left at the club there in Reesburg, who we know is doing wonderful things and did wonderful things last year. But, like I say, how detrimental was that 5-0 loss? Like, youth players are not meant to be thrown in the deep end as your team. Your youth player is there to possibly come on and get some minutes and just experience the whole thing. They're, they're not meant to be the game changer. They're not meant to be the difference makers as such. And they're not meant to be the guy that comes on and shores everything up. They're there to get experience. And, and that they can't get experience if they're not being given the chance. Um, and then I'm going to look through our youth team now. Like I say, I mentioned him already. Reese Burke, last year, cleaned up all the awards at the club he, he was at. Obviously, he's had an injury this year, but again, he's one I, I really want to see play. He, he, every time he's played, and there's a couple of pre a couple of Europa League games, he's looked good. And I again, when we've been a bit desperate for centre-halves this year, he could have been perfect fit. Uh, then we look at Josh Cullum. Um, cleared up at the awards this year. Unlucky not to get promoted with uh, Bradford in the playoffs. Again, this guy needs to be given a chance. Um, Martinez, scoring goals. He went to Oxford, scored a couple, then went a bit quiet, but then he came back and scored some. Can he do any worse than what Cagliari did this year? You tell me, you tell me. Oxford, again, he went on loan to Reading and he wasn't used that much. Again, could he do any worse than what Norvet did early doors if we if he was going to play him in the CDM role or in the back as a free protected by Reed Nogbonna? You tell me. You tell me, guys. Uh, and then we've got Samuelson. Again, could he have done any worse than Gokantor and Fagudi? Um, and again, David Gold's tweet was about teens, teenagers, okay? Reese Burke, 20. Cullen, 21. Martinez, 19, very soon to be 20. Samuelson, 20. Jordan Brown, 19. Again, very close to being 20. And obviously, Oxford's, um, I think he's 18. But again, in terms of the teens, 19, 19, 19s there, a couple of 19s, they're on pushing on the older teens. And then you've got your Cullens, your Burks, your Samuelsons are 20. So are they ready yet? Uh, you, I don't know. I, like I say, I, I, I can't see them doing any worse than what they've what has played this year. When we've been desperate, at least the youth player would have been passionate, give you legs and give you a hundred percent at least. When some of these guys are picking up seventy, eighty grand a week and not doing anything to input the team, um, and at least youth players understand what it's about at that rawness and that youngness of that they understand the luck and the. Um, they appreciate the chance they've been given. Um, like I say, it's very frustrating, guys. Uh, and um, I was—it's it's not a nice comment, and I, I totally feel that he's—he should retract that statement. I, I really do, or at least reword it in a better way. Like Sky has picked up on it now, BBC's picked up on it. Um, I'd love to know what some of those young guys are thinking about now. But um, I looked at it in another way as well. Um, we sort of touched on it a little bit in the podcast a couple of weeks ago. Does David Gold have a bit of a point, though, if I'm arguing from the other way? So, obviously, Tony Carr, legend of the club, uh, left the club last year. Is his overall impact on the youth players now starting to dwindle? You know, so maybe your Burks and your Oxfords were your last players that he had a real impact on. And... It is that it now? You know, this new guy, Terry Wesley, obviously he's got the guys promoted. He's done a fantastic job. And there are some fantastic players in there. Declan Rice obviously cleaned up the awards. Um, you've got Joe Powell, who's come all the way from under 18s to get into the under 23 team. Uh, you've got Holland and players like that. But is he as influential as what Tony Carr is? Obviously, Tony Carr came with all this prestige. You know, he's worked with fantastic players Rios, Joes, Franks. Tonks, Collinson, even like some of the guys that are not um, that didn't have really prolonged careers at West Ham, like your Stanislas is, your Zavon Hines. 
so so what what does that have on the club? It, are the coaches good enough? But if the players if the players are not ready by the time they're like twenty twenty one, would they ever be ready? Would they ever get their chance? I don't know. Like I say, games like coming up last game of the season, Burnley's. Uh, this is your chance to play the kids, and pre season obviously you start integrating them and see how they get on. But at least we've we've got to as a club. If if we're not going to go and buy the quality, and we're just going to go and buy fillers, which I hope we don't do this summer, then start giving the kids a chance. Um, it's great for the club. If anything, it gives the fans a positive. If the season's not going well, you at least think, oh, this might be the next superstar, or this this could be the new Joe Cole, or this could be the new Frank, or the new Rio. Um, at least that, if anything. Um, yeah, that's my views, guys. Obviously, I've had some strong tweets towards uh, David Gold on this subject. Um, but, again, it's all opinions. Let me know what your opinions are, these guys, on youth players. Do, do you think they're ready? Do you think they should be given a chance? Do you think David Gold's got a, tw- uh, a point? Let me know what side you're on, guys. As always, guys, keep checking us out. Check out West Ham Fan Zone. Also, their partner channel is West Ham Insider. Check him out as well. Um, Please like, comment and subscribe. Get us up to 1,500 subscribers, which would be fantastic. Uh, We'll see you in the podcast, guys. But until then, keep believing. Come on, you wines. Let's go.